This video is sponsored by Incogni. It's a service I use that helps protect my privacy by taking my personal data off the market. To start protecting your privacy, simply go to incogni.com slash companyman and the first 100 people to use the code companyman at the link below will get 60% off. <laughs> Bucky's is an unconventional convenience store that, as of right now, is not nearly as well known as some of the country's leading chains, like 7-Eleven or Circle K. See, whereas both of those have thousands of locations in the United States, Bucky's only has around 50. It's one of those companies that has built a cult-like following in Texas, much like HEB or Whataburger, but hasn't really been able to expand beyond that, just yet anyway. These are potentially exciting times for Bucky's because in 2019, after 37 years of operating, they opened their first location outside of Texas. That one was in Alabama, but they quickly followed it up by opening new ones in Kentucky, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee. Looking forward, documents have been submitted to open more of them as far north as Wisconsin, and construction has already started on a massive project in Colorado. It is such a massive project because Bucky's locations are known for being exceptionally large. Seriously, that right there is probably the thing that they are most known for. When you go to an average convenience store, like 7-Eleven or Circle, Okay, you can expect them to be around 3,000 square feet, but Bucky's has built multiple locations to be above 50,000. For example, in 2012, they set a world record by opening the largest ever convenience store. I'm talking about 18 acres of land, including 60 fuel pumps and 1,000 parking spaces. Also, in 2017, they set another record by opening the world's longest car wash. It takes about five minutes just to get through it, so you better believe your car is going to be clean after that. I know, it almost sounds absurd. I'm going to go deeper into all of it as I talk about why Bucky's has been so successful and why they may have the potential to become a nationally recognized chain of convenience stores. First off, I want to talk about their founder and longtime owner, Arch Applin III, because he has been the main person associated with the company since the beginning and seemingly is such a perfect person for it. When he was a kid, his grandparents owned a general store in Louisiana. He would spend a lot of time there, help out in various ways, while taking a particularly close interest and how the business operated. His father owned a construction company, so Arch actually earned a degree from Texas A&M in construction sciences, went on to work for that company only for a few months before setting out to start his own company. In 1982, for $52,000, he bought a piece of land at an intersection in Lake Jackson, Texas. The issue was that he did not have $52,000 in his account at the time, so he had to hurry to secure a bank loan to cover the amount. He then built a mostly typical looking gas station slash convenience store on that land, and that was the first ever Bucky's, much different than we would expect to see today. That leads me to my next reason behind their potential, their size. It is probably the biggest reason, so sit back because I have a lot to say about it. Bucky's existed as that one store for about three years, and when it was time to open a second store, Arch Applin teamed up with another convenience store owner in the area named Don Wasek. Together, they opened a building that was twice as big as the original, partially because it included a kitchen where they would make sandwiches and bake donuts. That was basically their strategy for the next couple decades, open these larger than average convenience stores in strategic locations, ideally outside of major cities so the real estate would be cheaper compared to inside the city, and on the way to or from another major city to capture the traffic of people traveling between them. Notably, in 2003, they opened a store in the town of Lulling, Texas on I-10. It is an interstate connecting San Antonio and Houston that anyone traveling between the two cities would very likely take. It turned out to be such a great location that after three years, they decided to double the size of it, and then three years later, they doubled the size of that. It proved that opening a Bucky's of that size could be successful, and by the end of the decade, opening insanely large locations became their new strategy. I also want to point out that the one with the world's largest car wash is also located on I-10 outside of Houston, and that largest convenience store is outside of San Antonio on a road that people would very likely take when traveling to Austin, Waco, or Dallas. Despite having so many fuel pumps that tend to offer gas at competitive prices, gas itself only accounts for about a third of their revenue, which is pretty much the opposite when compared to a typical gas station. From a financial standpoint, those pumps are mainly just there to lure people inside, where they will hopefully buy stuff that has much higher profit margins. When you go inside of a Bucky's, I can assure you that it is not like a 7-Eleven. I can't go through everything 
it is so much. But some of the highlights would be the jerky wall with a world famous selection of different types of jerky, maybe even more of them than you knew existed. They sell delicious smelling nuts that are roasted in the store, fudge that is made fresh in the store, and potato chips that are fried in the store. Texas Roundup is the name of their barbecue counter that serves up brisket and all other types of meats. They also sell a bunch of private label items with even higher margins that you truly cannot find anywhere else. The obvious one being their famous beaver nuggets that are like these corn puffs coated in caramel. I don't know what to say. It is a large building filled with a bunch of fun and tasty stuff. Anyone that has traveled around Texas will tell you that visiting Bucky's is something that you just have to experience yourself. And that is the other thing. Everything about them is so extravagant and memorable that you're going to want to tell people about your visit, which can be one of the most effective forms of free advertising, especially when someone like Joe Rogan is impressed enough to talk about them to his millions of listeners. It's a gas station with hundreds of pumps. Like, you can't believe how many pumps there are. It doesn't make any sense. My next reason behind their success and potential is their bathrooms. I don't know if I would put this as a reason for the success of any other company, but also, I don't think I have heard any other company talk about their bathrooms this much. I realize it might sound funny, but Bucky's is legitimately known for having tremendous bathrooms. They're spacious and clean and fancy and well lit. Whatever you may be looking for in a bathroom, they probably have at Bucky's. I like the fact that ever since they won a contest in 2012, they have been referred to as award-winning restrooms. I'm talking about dozens of toilets, and at all times, there's an employee present ensuring that they are clean. As a rule, Bucky's does not allow 18-wheel trucks, officially because they were built for passenger cars and 18-wheelers would crowd up things, but unofficially, people theorize that it is because allowing truckers would make it much harder for them to maintain that image of cleanliness. I mean, even when Arch Applin had that initial idea of starting a convenience store, he envisioned a place that focused on really clean bathrooms. Imagine this, you're driving a long distance and you need to stop to use the bathroom. If you see a sign that says there's a Bucky's in 50 miles or so, their bathroom might just be good enough for you to pass up the closer options and try to hold it until you get there. Plus, with all of those toilets, you know that you are not going to have to wait once you get there. That is why they have made such an effort to not just maintain immaculate bathrooms, but to advertise them alongside the highways. They are known by travelers across Texas for their humorous billboards that I happen to think are funny, so I would very much like to share a few of my favorites. How about only 262 miles to Bucky's? You can hold it. Or how about don't worry, pee happy? Or who could forget the classic, the top two reasons to stop at Bucky's, number one and number two. All right, that's enough. That right there is where I need to stop talking about bathrooms and move on to my next reason behind their potential, they have developed a reputation for having a friendly environment. Goofy billboards like those are very much part of it. They almost always feature their adorable beaver mascot. When Art Chaplin was a baby, his mother started calling him Beaver, and then I guess a friend of his father's started calling him Bucky Beaver, referring to an old cartoon character that was in commercials for toothpaste. So that is where the name originated and the beaver mascot, and it has been effective. That little guy is featured on the beaver nuggets and other store brand items. Sometimes he's walking around the aisles. There's a statue of him outside the stores. People even buy t-shirts with him on it. In my own opinion, he is a funny, likable character that has fit so nicely with the brand's image. Another great way to create a friendly environment is by having friendly employees. Obviously, I can't generalize and say that everybody who works there is happy, but they typically seem like it. They get paid around 40% higher than the industry average, along with paid vacations and 401k plans. I'm not trying to recruit people to work there, but that is pretty good for a convenience store. Though you do have to keep in mind that anyone who works there is expected to smile a lot, they can't have visible tattoos or body piercings or unnaturally colored hair. There is a list of expectations you wouldn't find at most other places, and it all helps contribute to that friendly image that they're trying to create. My final reason on the list is the fact that the owners of Bucky's have maintained total control. Amazingly, after all these years, Arch Applin and Don Wasek still share 50-50 ownership of the company. If you watch this channel, I'm sure you know that most large companies have raised money through public stock offerings, and most competing convenience stores, including 7-Eleven and Circle K, have grown through franchising. That is when people open their own branded stores, but pay the company to do it. Now, impressively, Bucky's has yet to do any of this, nor do they plan to in the future. In the words of Arch Applin, it allows us total independence to do what we think is the best. Considering so much of what they do is unconventional, they almost need that freedom, because not everyone is 
going to support such wild ideas. Most of their funding up until this point, and likely moving forward, has come from loans. It's been a slow process that has seemingly put them into debt, but they probably wouldn't have been able to do the things that have gained them the cult following otherwise. You can see how it's debatable whether or not this approach has helped or hurt the company, but it has allowed Bucky's to exist in this current, unusual form. So that is my list of why Bucky's may soon be making its way across the country and expanding near you. They have so much going for them, including the fact that it is honestly hard to find anyone saying anything bad about Bucky's. But I do want to remind everyone that it is difficult to expand a concept that is popular in one state to the rest of the country. Maybe it's a bit like a promising college player excelling in the more competitive NBA. I'm just saying, taking out millions of dollars in debt to open stores in so many unproven areas is risky. Consider that Bucky's was custom made for the Texas market. They started there and spent almost four decades evolving into what people in Texas wanted to be. I'm skeptical if things like the barbecue counter or the jerky wall or the Dr. Pepper Ices will be as attractive in a state like Wisconsin. Even the size of it, everything's bigger in Texas, right? So will other states respond to such a big store in the same positive way? We also have to consider that a lot of this, let's face it, is kind of a gimmick, like a rare thing that you have to stop and see when you're taking a trip through Texas. But once they're everywhere, you have to wonder if people will care as much. It's just a few things to think about that may potentially hinder them from spreading across the country. Let me know in the comments, is Bucky's going to be the next big thing? And what makes you think that? Also, have you ever been to Bucky's before? If you're one of their loyal followers, did I do a good job in explaining the appeal or is there more to it that I failed to capture? On the other end, is this video the first time you ever even heard of them? Which I imagine may be the case for most people. And if it is, what is your impression after watching it? Does it make you want to visit or does it all just seem like too much? And any other thoughts you have about Bucky's or that adorable beaver mascot, leave them in the comments. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Today's sponsor is Incogni, which I view as an important service. See, you may not even realize this, but thousands of companies are collecting, aggregating, and even trading your personal data. Think about that, trading. That means if a company is affected by a data breach, your data could potentially be leaked even if you've never even done business with them. That is alarming to me. It would be nice if I could reach out to all of these companies and request that they delete my information. I have the right to do it, but not the time or the patience. And that is why I use Incogni. For months now, they have been reaching out to these companies on my behalf. It's amazing. Every week they email me a data removal progress report. Most recently, there have been 164 requests sent, 50 in progress, and 114 completed. All you have to do to sign up is go to incogni.com slash companyman, and we cannot forget that the first 100 people to use the code companyman will get an amazing 60% off. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching.